So, it's been three months since Battlefield 2042 release, and I decided to re-download it and give it another shot, see if it was a bit less of a dumpster fire. And I'm happy to say that this game has made a strong recovery. Psych! What is this? I'm not overconfident. I'm just better than everyone else. Oh! <laughs> oh my goodness. So my original plan for this video was to go through all the things that made me want to uninstall the game. But recently we got the news that the Battlefield team would be moving on to making a new game, which I think is for the best. So instead of just critiquing the game, I'm going to talk about what ideas should and shouldn't be brought into the next game. I'm going to reference Battlefield 4 a lot because I feel like it's the best example of a modern Battlefield game that didn't go too far and stuck to the roots of Battlefield. Battlefield 4 was also one of the first games I fell in love with, and is the reason why this franchise means so much to me. But DICE. Really? This is the best you could do? Ha! This is what I expected! I'm gonna start off with the good things about the game, and I got a lot of them. There's two. There are two things that I can say I like about this game. Graphically, this game looks amazing. Just the look of the overall battlefield, the explosions, everything going on at once, you know, planes, tanks, vehicles, it all looks great. It looks really good. The only other good thing is the 128 player servers, but they're not good in this game. The reason why 128 player servers aren't good in this game is not because of the player count. It's because of the maps. The way that they are made, it just feels like they have no flow and most of the map is not touched. For example, on the map Breakaway right here, there's this awesome base on a cliff shown in the trailer. When I saw it, I was thinking, oh my god, this is going to be awesome, you can fly around in helicopters, pew 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 pew! But it turns out this objective is in the top corner of the map next to one of the HQ spawns and never sees any action. The design is even worse on Kaleidoscope, where there are 128 people running around in open fields and sidewalks getting sniped. It's, it's these types of design choices that just make me think, why? I feel like if the developers could have took the time they needed and made sure the maps fit the amount of players, they could have made it work. So hopefully for the next game, with some proper map development and some playtesting, 128 players should fit Battlefield perfectly. And now it's time to touch on some of the things that shouldn't be taken into the next game, starting with attachments. Yay! Why can I put a grenade launcher on my sniper? Doesn't make sense to me. Why is there two suppressors with the exact same stat? Why is there an in-game attachment system that I've used twice in a hundred hours? Why was there servers in the first week of the game being out that you could farm all the attachments and unlock everything in the game? Speaking of unlocks, once you reach rank 50 you could unlock this the most overpowered vehicle in the game. The bolt has to be responsible for at least half of my deaths in this game. <laughs> we tired of playing with your ass, nigga. Today your ass is gonna die, bitch. Say goodnight, motherfucker. Hey, 
The only weak spot on the Bolt is the windows in the front, so people just drive it backwards, making it by far the best vehicle in the light class. And because it's in the light class, on some maps you can have up to 7 of these on each team. You can also have up to 4 tanks and 2 of each class of air vehicle. The vehicle spam in this game is insane, and it feels completely overwhelming at times. In this short clip right here, there's over 10 vehicles, and sometimes it feels like there's so much stuff happening on your screen that it's just hard to focus. So, I was going to talk about the specialists and the gunplay and everything, but I've actually really hated making this video because this game was just such a disappointment, and it's just it's painful to just like look at and... Um, to touch on it very briefly, specialists do not belong in a Battlefield game. I don't know what was wrong with the class system or why the devs felt that they had to change it, but, I mean, I didn't feel like it was broken at all, and I don't see why it needed changing, and if it, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, you know? That it was such a core element of Battlefield, the teamwork, everything, I mean, I sound like a broken record, everybody said this, but it's... It's just disappointing to see them, like, make such a shift towards, you know, the Call of Duty, Modern War, you know, Warzone crap. To some extent, I can see why they wanted to add, like, an extra element to the game, but the amount of time it must have took the devs to develop and balance out all the operators, they're not very balanced, and some of them are completely useless, actually, so I guess that doesn't matter, but... Just the fact that they're a thing in the game must have took so much development time when they already had such a great system in place that really set Battlefield apart. And the specialists just make Battlefield seem more like any other game that you can play right now. And then the gunplay in this game is just atrocious. I don't know why they changed it so much. I think that Battlefield 4 certainly has some of the best gunplay of any game. There's a lot of issues with uh, spread in the first few weeks of the game, where you just couldn't hit anything. But it just feels... it just doesn't feel good, I don't know how to explain it. And a lot of the movement mechanics, you can slide cancel, you know, it's Battlefield, and it was always kind of rooted in more of a, a realistic movement, and just feel for the guns and everything. But now it just feels so utterly generic in every way. The last thing I wanted to talk about was just how much of a disappointment this game was. It's so sad to see a AAA studio that has had, had such a great track record with Battlefield 1, Battlefield 4, Battlefield Bad Company, all such great games, and then it just falls off like this. They had three years to make this game, and it is probably the most unfinished game I've ever played. A game like Squad, for the same price, gives you so much more content, so much more variety, and just such a, a more polished experience than this. It's, it's actually completely unbelievable that I paid the $80 premium price for this game, because I wanted to get an upgraded version, and it comes out, and there, there wasn't a damn scoreboard for, you know, four months. It, the, just the rate at which content is coming out, it's, it's truly sad to see. So. I hope that they just move on and say, you know, screw this, you know, we made a mistake. Because they did. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to subscribe, I appreciate it. And have a good day.